Hello, Dr. Webster again. We're going to talk about the heart. This is your heart. You got to take care of it. Be good to it. Okay, so I'm going to talk about, this is going to be, I'm going to try to keep it short, but there's a lot of information I want to share with you. This is a study. Water, other fluids, and fatal coronary heart disease. The Infantis Health Study. Huge study. Incredible incredible numbers. They took uh, 8,000 males, they took uh, 12,000 females, aged 38 to 100 years old. Um, they followed them over a period of six years. They found uh, a total of 246 fatal coronary heart disease events occurred within a six-year follow-up. The biggest determining factor was the fact that those who drank more water were less likely to have heart attacks than those who drank a lot of fluids other than water. And so we'll go through the report together and you'll see. Okay, so the results are overall, the population adheres to a healthy lifestyle commonly held to be healthy, assessed by their diet and level of exercise. Very few subjects drink alcohol were current or were current smokers, et cetera, et cetera. So they went through, they went through all of the different diseases they went through their, their education. They went through their, uh, their energy intake, their weight, their height, uh, what kind of diets they had, everything. They go through it in quite a bit of detail. And then they talk about the other fluids now. There's water and then there's everything else but water. Just go into a grocery store, a convenience store, and just go over to the coolers. And that's, my God, there's so much wa uh, fluids there any kind of drink you could possibly imagine, and everybody has their favorite, right? That's what this study's talking about. Talks about coffee, I drink coffee, um, hot chocolate, black tea, other hot drinks, milk, juice unsweetened, juice sweetened, fruit drinks, carbonated soft drinks, carbonated soft drinks, alcoholic beverage, just anything you can imagine other than water is what they're talking about here, okay? So if we skip further to the discussion. Okay, here, here's the words. We found a strong negative multivariant association between intake of water and the risk of fatal coronary disease. Okay, a negative multivariate association. Multivariate means that they, they didn't look at just one or two things, they looked at the whole lifestyle. Like I said before, their diet, their level of activity, that's multivariate. And they found a strong negative. When, you, when it says negative, it means you get the more of one part gives you the less of the other part. They, they are adverse, negative. So it says, we found a strong negative multivariate association between the intake of water and the risk of fatal coronary disease. This is not a little chest pain. This is when you have your fatal heart attack and you die. The more water you drink, it decreases your risk of having a fatal heart attack. On the other hand, a positive association between the intake of fluids other than water and the risk of fatal coronary heart disease. This is huge. And I realize if anybody's uh, listening to me and they're in the this drink business, then they're, you're not liking me right now. But the facts are the facts. The more fluid you drink other than water, it, based on this study, increases your risk of heart attack. Okay, so as I go back through the study, I see a word in here called viscosity. So the viscosity, so I looked it up. And where did I go? I went to PubMed. Viscosity, and you don't want your blood to aggregate. In other words, you want to have a high shear rate. A high shear rate means that your blood is very fluid, the cells don't clump together, they kind of line up and they and they go they go along. If you have a low shear rate, your cells do something we call aggregate. They might stick to each other. And if they stick to each other, based on this article, it can be an indicator of uh, thrombosis, inflammation, or just deterioration of blood viscosity. So you want your blood to have a high shear rate. It makes it more fluid, a low shear rate, makes it more, not clumpy, but less fluid. 
Okay, so I give blood. Here's what brought this home to me. I've been giving blood off and on for years. And after I started drinking this electrolyzed, reduced water, this, this machine I have, I, I would notice when I give blood, it seemed my bag would fill up quicker. The normal, uh, my understanding out of getting a lot of blood is that once they, hunt you, once they hook you up to that uh, pint bag to fill your blood, your bag, it usually takes eight to 10 minutes to fill the bag. So the nurses kept noticing that I filled my bags much quicker than that. Last time I gave blood, I fill my, my uh, pint bag in three minutes and 40 seconds. It's like, wow. So, so it made me, I came back to this article, blood viscosity, blood viscosity. So, okay. So I did the research and again, I went back where PubMed, PubMed. It says the effect of electrolyzed high pH alkaline water on blood viscosity and help the adults. So they took a hundred uh, athletes or took a hundred adults, um, in Camden, New Jersey, and they and they set them up to do a bunch of exercise, and so and they divided them into half. I think there were 50 in one and 50 in the other. But after they, so the results say after an exercise induced dehydration, consumption of the electrolyzed high pH reduced water, the stuff I drink, produced a very high shear rate, and the hydration of these two different teams, the hydration and the team that drank the electrolyzed reduced water was twice as fast as the hydration of the standard purified water. And those are their, their terms, standard purified water. So a significant difference in whole blood viscosity was detected in the study when assessing electrolyzed high pH water versus an acceptable standard purified water. During the recovery phase, following strenuous exercise induced dehydration. So this is this is a medical study that shows drinking this water, the water gets into your cells, it super hydrates. So I'm just thinking, wow, how much more can I learn? This is a very big study, very big study, thousands of people, what, 20,000 people in this study, this heart disease. The more water you drink, it decreases your risk of heart attack. The more you drink this other stuff, the more it increases your risk of heart attack. You want your blood to flow fluidly. You want your blood to be really slippery and get through there and decrease your chances of thrombosis, blood clots, stroke. The electrolyzed reduced water is something I will always do, always. If you want information, you can reach out to me. My, my contact is below. Otherwise, drink a lot of water. Be good to your heart. I'll see you next time. Thanks.